I've just spent the last two days creating over a hundred different t-shirt designs using Ideogram. Now I did this because I wanted to test out the new version of Ideogram, which is 2A. Now if you don't know, 2A is better optimized for graphic design and photography as well, and it's their cheapest model. Now everything which you see here, or which you're going to see in this video, was all created with rendering Turbo. Now Turbo only uses half a credit per generation as well. Now what we're going to do is quickly have a look through these, just because I want to show you the quality of these as well. Because after creating a hundred, or over a hundred, I do believe that 2A is definitely much better than the normal version 2. So if we take a look at these, we can see what these look like. Now in fact, let's start from the top. Some of these I don't quite like, and some of them I really like. Now another thing that I am in the process of doing is turning all these into a little freebie. Now this should be ready over the next couple of days. It's going to be a hundred ideogram quote graphic t-shirt prompts. So most of the prompts which created all of these, I'm going to put that in this, and it's going to be 100% free as well. Now all of the niches are just here, with funny and sarcastic, inspiration and motivational, girl power, and many, many more, as you can see. So again, over the next couple of days, this should be ready for you. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at these. Now, if we take a look at this one, this is one of my favorites. I think this turned out really good. And this one just here, I actually have a lot of favorites within these designs as well. I don't quite like that one or this one. I do really like this orange design just here. Now, one thing I have noticed as well is that 2A is a million times better at doing text and if you've got a lot more going on within your design. Now, I really liked these two, so this one was find a trail, lose the stress, explore, exhale, exist. And there's just something about this design which I absolutely love. Now, these ones I really liked as well, but these animal ones, these pet ones underneath, like this one, this is my favorite out of everything. We are going to take a look at that in a second as well. But I've also found that Ideogram 2A does a fantastic job at anything related to cartoons, especially cartoon animals. Now look at this one, I speak fluent meow, you had me at woof, then I have these ones just here, I really liked this pixelated one, and this low resolution, high confidence with this fox. We've also got some school ones just here, which turned out really, really well. These ones I didn't like as much, there's just something about them. But then these ones down here, like this book one, my weekend is all booked. I really loved that design, and I really loved this design. I live in a paperback palace. Now let's keep scrolling through these. As you can see, like this one, people exhaust me, even in small doses. The fox on this is just absolutely amazing. I really liked this one, and many, many more. But as you can see, 2A does do a much better job if you're creating t-shirt designs. Now this one was another one of my favorites. Messy hair, tired eyes, and way too much coffee. I really liked the fluffy hair that this little panda has. I think that one and the dog one are two of my favorites. Then we have more down here. So I like this one. My happy place, anywhere you're not. If I'm outside, just know it wasn't my idea. I really, really like this design as well. And just most of these, I just think that 2A is doing a fantastic job at creating t-shirt designs. I can't wait for three, which is hopefully, so I've heard, just round the corner. Now let's go ahead and look here because I have a few of these open in a new tab. This is absolutely flawless, absolutely flawless you'd have no idea that this is created with AI. My dog thinks I'm cool, that's all that matters. Now the husky on this, with the pink glasses, with the pour up, the pour down, the pores around it, the stars, is just absolutely flawless. Now this one out of 
all of the 100 plus which I created is definitely my favourite. Then this one, I really liked this, mum mode, messy hair, full hands, no sleep. This turned out really good and no mistakes again. Then I have this one. I really liked the concept of this where the paws were the O's in woof. So you had me at woof. Again, all of these or the majority of these are really looking like there's no AI involved and it looks like it's just created by a professional designer. And ideally, that's what we're looking for. We don't want our designs to look like it's created by AI. Now, this is another one which I really liked. Low resolution, high confidence. I really like the pixelated fox on this with the circle around the outside as well. And then this one, poor choices, make the best stories. So this is more of drinking humour. And then I have this one just here, another one of my favourites. I wanted to show you this up close because this is just another one which is flawless. Messy hair, tired eyes and way too much coffee. This would just would look absolutely amazing over on a t-shirt. Now I believe I do have one more as well. It was this one. The only thing which I didn't really like about this was the little mistake on here. But this fly could easily be edited out in the finished design but this says if i'm outside just know it wasn't my idea now how did i actually go ahead and create a hundred plus designs well it's with the help of one of my new gpts now this one is in my idea mastery course and this is specifically designed to create quote t-shirt prompts so all we have to do in this is simply say, give me a list of popular t-shirt niches for women, or give me a list of niches, or there's loads of different ways that you can go about this, but this is what I did, and I got lots of different niches. I can then, with my little prompt generator, ask for quotes and puns for any of these niches just here. So I went with travel and adventure tees. So I got lots of different puns and quotes just here, but I wanted more, but make them more unique. And then I got more. So the great thing about this GPT is that we can brainstorm niches within the GPT. We can brainstorm puns and quotes. We can then go back and forth, making them more unique, because if we come back onto here, most of these are actually pretty unique. But then, once you have your puns, you can ask for a design concept. So I did it around this one. I don't chase people, I chase sunsets. So I put, give me a design concept for this. Now, this is awesome, because the design concept is going to give us some typography, illustration ideas, colour schemes and background, and the overall mood and audience. Now again, because this is a GPT, I can go back and forth. I can ask for different illustration ideas. I can change up the colour schemes as well. And then once I've got a design concept which I actually like, and for the quote in the niche which we researched, I can then say, give me a prompt, and I get a fully formatted prompt for ideogram. So this part is where the magic happens. This prompt is specifically designed to create designs over in Ideogram. So now if we take this and come back over to here, I can then plug in the prompt. I don't have to change anything. I'm going to make sure magic prompt is on. We're using 2A because that's the recent model and we're using Turbo. Now I only use Turbo because it uses half a credit and it still does an amazing job. So now if I click generate, we should get a really nice design specifically for that quote with the prompt as well. So let's just go ahead and give this a second and there we go. So let's go ahead and take a look. I really like this one. I don't chase people, I chase sunsets. Let's take a look at the other ones. I don't chase people, I chase sunsets. I quite like that design. I don't chase people, I chase sunsets. I like that one as well. So these all look pretty good. Now, even with 2A, everything is improved, but you still do sometimes get errors. Now, let's take a look at this again. I think I'd like this one over the rest. But nonetheless, that's how I created all of these designs with my new prompt generator, which is going to be released very, very soon. This should be released over the next couple of weeks, 
so it's not actually been released yet, but when it does, it's going to be in my IDEO Mastery course. Now, this is going to be available if you want to go and check it out. There's going to be a link down in the description as well. There is currently already three custom prompt generators. The new one will bring it up to four, but the two main ones in there at the minute are for t-shirt and sticker designs. Now, again, if you do want to check this out, there is going to be a link down in the description. Just be aware that this isn't going to be released for at least another week, but it will be coming very soon. And as you can see, it does do an amazing job at helping us create really nice quote t-shirt designs using ideogram. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.